Well, hello, people. How are you? Uh, so we're just going to... We're back going live again. Uh, doing a little bit of painting. Uh, we're going to continue on doing the Grim Dark. Um, so we've got our painting board here all ready. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing our Grim Dark uh, Ultramarines. But first, I would uh, like to talk about a sponsor, uh, which is, this video is brought to you by Cobalt Keep. Oh dear. Well, it's a good thing that I have a couple of models that are already magnetized down, which is the, the best thing about this case. Um, so the best thing about this case is that once you magnetize your models, they will not move. And I've been looking for display cases for a while, and then I came across Copo Keep, so I, I gave him a uh, gave him a shout, and they were politely and uh, kind enough to send me out a uh, a tester, and they gave me they gave me the army display box and the hero display. Now, as you can see, I have Marinus Calgar in there, so I'll just give a rough estimate of the size. Now, these cases are beautiful. They're stackable, and they're transportable. So, when you magnetize your models, they just come up easy enough. Just get a little small magnet, glue it on the, on, on the base, and then there you go. That's it, magnetized. So, even... Uh, Reboot Gilliman that we're still working on for his magnetized stand for his playable stand which is magnetized and boom that's even magnetized there so um, all their details can be found out uh, in the, the description I'll make sure to put it all in the description anyway so it came out, shipped out in a nice lovely box, and the hero box was put in with this army box here. So they are a very, very cool company. I strongly suggest you check them out. And that's them there. They also do uh, paint handles. And they do stands with magnetic bases. So check them out pretty cool company um, I was looking for display cases since I got back into this hobby and the only thing I could come up with was either make my own go down to the pound shop and buy these crappy little ones uh, that had like a little light on the display thing and I had to dismantle the glue from it and if this didn't break while I was trying to take it off uh, which was a su success I had to glue this down and, and take out the uh, the model that was inside it and then put my character in so that came uh, it was that was pretty handy enough or I had to make my make my own uh, from these drawers that I got. Uh, so these were my type of display cases that I was using. Or I'd spend fifteen or fifteen to twenty euro on these pop figure display cases. Uh, those ones actually even glow up blue and everything but they were 
so these are very handy for um, larger larger models but this guy Colbo Keep is the best because you can fit a whole entire uh, uh, army squad uh, in here so you could get one two three four five my uh, bannerman I'll stick reboot off here for the side he can even fit in uh, it was 30th anniversary push him over there and so that that leaves loads loads of room for more models to go in there and as you can see you just click it down close your uncle slide it off the desk so you can pick it up and that's your models there looking all beautiful and protected away from the dust and if these were all magnetic uh, magnetic bases you could transport them to your to your kill team event or to another event stick them in your bag and bring them over to a friend's house show them off so there we have it awesome display case from Colbo keep so uh, be sure to check check him out anyway so with that further ado we are going to get along with our grim dark models here we're going to put these ones back and whoop, be sure not to break reboot in I'll never forgive myself if I break that model so we have two viewers in here on the channel so be sure to say hi make yourself known I'm gonna have a nice wee chat how's your day been Play a bit of Warhammer music here. For your toughest workouts, aerial active pods take on tough stains and odors. Yes, aerial. Hi, I'm Delana Fletcher, and I'm here at Audible to tell you that I have written and narrated. We my don't book. care. Okay, so we're going to continue on doing the Grimdark. That's what we're doing. We're doing Grimdark. We'll put our painting mat back over here. Or not our, our mouse mat. I can't talk now. See, it's already starting, people. You're going to have to start making fun of me that I can't talk now. No paints! You're gonna have to supply me with paints now. Look, I'm just a wee lad and I can't afford any paints. So, get her bottle of water here. And before you ask, yes, I always do use distilled or bottled water. This part always reminds me of um, like Super Mario or something like that. It's kind of like, yay, it's a princess!
get that little bit more water in there. So it won't dry out too fast. Okay. So we have my brushes off here to the left. I'm after changing up the, the setup a wee bit more. So I was on this guy here the last time, and now we're moving on to this guy. So let me change the camera angle. Things are going to seem out of focus for a bit. Uh, do, sorry, just reading the text. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to need. Ultramarine's blue, and we're going to need lamb medium. Lamb medium, perfect. If you're part of the Discord, feel free to just join in and say hi. Let's stick those two models up out of the way. So we're going to give him a nice watered down coat of ultra contrast ultramarine blue, just to bring him uh, up a little bit darker to match match this one here. So there we go, starting to focus in there now. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to bring it down, this one, down to the darkness of this one, make it a wee bit darker, okay, uh, yay, so what we need is just all, any old brush will do, you don't have to be too perfect, so just even if you get a normal bog standard chain starter brush, doesn't have to be perfect. So I have this one here, the uh, thing is bent on it here, as you can see. So it doesn't matter. I suppose the paper would be handy in, wouldn't it? Good catch, eh? Good catch. So what's everyone up to today? I 
uh, this is going to roll back. So just leave it alone and it will roll back itself. Which of course is making a liar of me now. Didn't roll back. Yeah. Bloody paper. Like, fuck you, paper. Make another layer of me. Yay, it's time to spend half an hour shaking up a bottle. That's the reason why all of it gathers down there. So come on, have a have a chat with me while I'm shaking, getting this ready. Yes, I did control that um, the, those models falling. It was a controlled drop. Obviously, I didn't want to break my models. So, I made sure that they they wouldn't fall before before he went live. That'll do, won't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a 5 to 1 that's one, two, three, four, five. Bloody headset. So more like to a, uh, a 10 to 1, okay? Do yourselves a, a 10 to 1 and you should be okay. Now we just gotta paint it all over. I gotta remember to make sure to stay in camera frame.
be a bit more quiet, relaxing music while we're painting. Get into that 40k universe. The animation will be starting uh, next week, so we'll be starting the animation next week. Um, the animation of the tiny little fuckheads. So we're going to be starting that next week, okay? Uh, so the first episode is going to be hopefully funny anyway. If the first episode does take off... Um, I will be making a couple of more episodes anyway, so the first episode is a trial run to see how it, how it uh, takes off, okay? Because I'm not going to waste my time doing cartoons if no one's going to like them. because I want to spend my time making the other project as well. Uh, which I do want to turn into a full blown animation. But before I do, I'll have to turn it into a comic based first uh, to work as the storyline, as the storyboard. And then I'll be turning this into a animatic, which will be an animated storyboard. And then from there, we'll turn it into an actual animation. So as you can see, the, uh, the colors on, on him are starting to pop out a little bit better bloody hair all the uh, colors actually blended in really really nice I can't tell if that is actually focusing or not because I haven't gotten glasses should be I had set this up to a point maybe there. the autofocus is I turned off the autofocus because it wasn't focusing Mm. 
Those cat hairs are getting everywhere. That's done. We're going to move on to another model. We're going to bring them all up to this standard here, okay? Because the next stage of that is actually doing the grim dark. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to paint up these two blue. Tack, eh? What we're gonna need? We're gonna need a tissue. Not the blow that Z noses in. But to wipe all Z paints. Trying to do a, a, a golem accent. What's the precious? What's too precious? Oh, total epic fail. I used to do it ages ago. Perfect, you just be able to do it really perfect. Now I've completely messed it up. If anyone has this uh, this painting board and they want to sell it or give it away. Please let me know, as I'd kindly and be gladly um, buy it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dip, dab, dip, dab, dip, dab, dip, dab. Just over dry brushing. Pick up more of that pigment, over dry brush more. Dibbity dab, dabity dab. Uh, I think this music is better than the other dubstep music anyway.
So even though I'm not given a full coverage, that's okay. Um, because it's going to be working out with the lights and the darks. All right. So the, the paint is going onto it really thin. So try to keep that in mind as well, okay? That the uh, to keep the paint nice and thin on it still. But it will be chalky because of the dry brush technique. But it's getting blended in with the lime and medium and the blue. So it, get, it does get smoothed down, okay? You know, five already, wow. Gosh, time flies, huh? So next week we are changing our schedule to where we are going to be going live three times a week. Okay. My brother would be giving out to me now saying get that brush out of that water. How dare you Ian. And then he'd say it's a starter brush and he said alright, sorry. I apologize. It's only a starter brush. Then he'd give me a slap just to be sure that I won't do it again. starting to like the dry brush technique more because I'm starting to be able to get me models painted a lot more because I can't my uh, hands are starting to shake a little bit more so I'm starting to uh, lean on the, uh, the dry brushing technique But uh, eventually, when uh, when I get better, I'll be able to come back and revisit my models that aren't 100% done. So we'll leave him over there. We'll revisit him. give him a nice little bit of a, a touch up just a quick touch up okay the hardest part uh, about this is I'm not too sure I know how to do red okay the only hardest part about this is doing grim dark on the sergeant's helmet that's that's the only hard part I'm gonna find out find about this so I'm not I'm not fully experienced in doing this grim dark okay this is only my experience and my um, my experimentation I'm doing grim dark without oil paints okay so it's up to you to see how I did in actually getting Grim Dark done. Okay. 
So if you think I managed to pull off that grim dark feature look, uh, please let me know. But at the, we're only at the light stage at the moment, so we're only building up the lights, and now we got to tone it down. Um, and then we're going to be putting in the chips and the paints and whatnot. Scratches. Uh, the dirt, the grime. Um, yeah, we're going to be going over it with a uh, brown wash. Yellow wash, red washes. I'm using is from Army Painter. It's the uh, Masterclass Moderate Dry Brush. I'd say it's one of my favorite dry brushes. Um, I didn't know what these uh, dry brushes were like until I got them, and I have to say, I absolutely love them. So, Army Painter, if you're listening, you've done something absolutely brilliant with your dry brushes. Um, so, I'm, I'm after buying more of uh, Army Painter brushes. Well, I haven't bought them. My brother bought them for me. He was so kind to go down and buy them for me. go down and buy me some army painter supplies he bought me the knife the drill and one two three four five six six brushes from army painter he was really really nice and he decided to treat me i do love him he's my brother but if we were ever in the 40k universe uh, i'm sorry bro you may have to just stand with your blood sucking angels I'm standing with Rebels. Gonna have to keep getting used to going in frame here.
gonna show you is another trick. Your team can get more done by doing less, like less busy work, less level setting, less looping in, and so Wow. Oh my god. And almost zero holding patterns. Find out how. Your team can do this, your team can do that. Guess what? Keep playing the music. Okay, that'll do, pig, that'll do. So I'll just get her dry brushed up like that, okay? Now, on camera, it looks like uh, I completely covered the whole model, but um, just get it all dry brushed up anyway. So I'm gonna show you another trick. You're gonna need one of these, which are brush cleaners, just look up on Amazon brush cleaners and you'll find find them, they are very very good. And this trick is really really good. So you get some of your ISO, squirt some of that in there. Fill the rest up with water. Okay. So once the rest of that is uh, filled up with water there, put a bit more water in. Then you can come along with your brush okay now remember how dirty this is okay come along with your brush just circle it around just like that on the uh, on the rubber <laughs> on the rubber Look at that, back to the way I had it. Perfect. It's all the paint off your brush from dry brushing. And look at that. Hey, eh? absolutely perfect. You just leave that aside and let it dry out. It's all done. Now what we're going to do is bake. Uh, 
I do recommend if you are getting those Xamarin Painter brush, brushes is to get two sets, okay? One to use while you're waiting for the other one to dry out. That's not near wet enough. Good thing we're only gonna need we're only gonna need this. So what we're gonna do is just gonna stick that back. So we're gonna need the smaller dry brush this time, okay? This is when we can get back to going with this guy. Oh my god, it's that guy. Okay, so paints you need is Calgar Blue. Uh, so you're gonna need Calgar Blue. Hoist Blue, which is a dry paint. And you're gonna need Blue Horror. Okay. Now these are the paints that we're going to be using. So first up, Calgar Blue. Squid Mire Miniatures. Wow. If you wear glasses or contacts, you must see this. The Japanese Nobel Prize Squid Mire Miniatures just popped up on me. Uh, YouTube timeline. <laughs> the 2020 vision you were born with in record time. Did you know vision problems have absolutely nothing to do with your eyes? The shocking link between stem cells and your eyes was discovered by... Who cares? We just want to paint Warhammer. Get a good doll up there anyway, so we can keep working away on this, okay? I'll settle it down a little bit. And then we're going to think about the light here as well, but we're also going to use this other model here as a reference on how we did the rest of it there, okay? So we're going to hold it down there like that and go quickly across the top here, back and forward, across the top, turn it around, we got our other reference, just go over here across the top of that circle there, down there along the bottom, along the bottom down here. Dab it in if we have to. Dab it in. Just be quick about it, okay? Try not to overthink it, okay? Get those paints out of the way there. There we go. 
a wee bit blurry, but I'm trying to just get this focused up in here. And then, then just go quickly work away on the bottom here. This is where the light is hitting on us. Quickly hit it there like that. Just be quick about it, okay? doing a 24-hour challenge sometime uh, myself and my brother we're going to be doing a live 24-hour challenge and I'm hoping to get as many miniatures done as I can and the whole point of it is that you just keep painting and you only stop for um, for to toiletry and food. I'll bring it across to the front there. Make sure you get the front of his helmet and the front of his pauldrons. mistake on his knees so I made sure to match his two knees then okay so just quickly match it up like that Well, I'm popular. Still only one viewer. guess either that viewer is either uh, my lovely lady Babs or my brother and I wonder if they wouldn't mind making me another cup of tea
so it's looking very fairly dark at the back so you can see the uh, grim dark starts coming out in it straight away um, when you start highlighting it with the uh, Calgar blue okay Take that one off and move to Sergeant Air. Gotta restock up their paint. Because eventually, Ian, we are going to have to do that Sergeant. This is what some people do uh, for airbrushing. Get OSL effects. Three, two, one, skip. Um, as long as you keep uh, your model held at one particular angle you can do an OSL effect fairly easy but you just got to keep keep it at that angle and the only thing is you got to choose where the light is coming in from so if the light is shining down anything underneath has to be dark okay unless it's got a bounce light but, um, that's all just making it complicated the way I see it put paint on your brush just paint your model just have fun with it do any other effects they'll come to you soon enough
a lot of rumors going around saying that they're going to be hyping up the uh, the new Grey Knights or Grey, not the new Grey Knights that um, they're just going to be doing up the Grey Knights. And if that's so, uh, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing seeing what they're going to be doing. And there's also more rumors going around saying that they're the older um, the older Space Marine models are going to be nerfed. Now I hope they do not do that because I haven't got the full collection. Um, and in order to get the full collection, I'm going to have to spend a crap ton of money. Uh, just so I, I can relax and be sure that I have the actual full Space Marine collection before they go. Um, Space Marines are my favourite. If you don't gather that anyway, but Blue Boys are my favourite. Um, mainly is because they're so loyal. You can't get any more loyal than the Ultramarines themselves. And they shall know no fear. Thought that twat would know that I'm gone live. Apologize about that. If he rings back the next time, I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend that I'm not live, having talking on the stream. So, as you can see, alright, whoop, down here again. As you can see, the, come on, focus, oh no, where's the focus point? There, I think it is. Right, so as you can see here anyway, the, um, There's dark parts and light parts to this, and over light parts. Okay, and that's just from using the Calgar Blue. And the more I bend it down like that, the more darker parts you'll see. Okay. So my light source is coming straight down on, onto the model here. 
Okay, so even if even if you don't have a, an airbrush, you can still achieve achieve that. So we're gonna move on to this guy now. We'll do his arms first anyway, just just get him over and done with. So they're not dangling in my way. Nearly coming up to that time already. Wow. That is mad, that is. Live stream goes by way too quick. Just keep going on this one here. I'd say I'm in a wee bit of pain here today now with my shoulder. Um, I rang up the hospital there, there yesterday. Uh, because I heard on the radio that due to the um, the HSE hackers, um, I had to confirm my details. So it's a good thing that the hospital uh, still has my details. So I had to ring up just to confirm that they, that they still did. It's a good thing that they do anyway. But I found out that they have like 300 operations to go before they even get to send me out my appointment so so it looks like I'll be waiting another while uh, just to just for my appointment anyway but um, when I when I do get my operation I'll still be uploading live and more content anyway because uh, it'll it'll just be more game basis, but I will try to paint with my left hand uh, because I need to learn how to paint with my left anyway. I'll just need to set up a uh, a rig or something to kind of hold the model.
So it is it is looking gorgeous now, I have to say. We'll just get his underarms just highlighted here. Just edge highlighted and that's all. That's all we need on here. So it is um, a lot of wasted paint while while you're doing dry brushing, but it works, you know. It really does work, and it's worth it because the effect that you you can get with dry brushing is really really nice, uh, especially w when you have a controlled over dry brushing. You can blend in the uh, the colors together. And then the lights and the darks. Which is what we're doing here. a little bit of bounce light which would bounce light hits the floor and bounces up okay or it bounces off on a piece of armor and it reflects over to the other side so like um, when you're doing the white dot in the corner of the eye and then you put another white dot in the other corner of the ultramarine helmet 
That's that's called bounce light. That is okay. Also known as reflective light. I just want to make a small disclaimer, uh, the animation that I will be starting next week is not children friendly, okay? Um, and it's no way affiliated in GW at all. It's my uh, weird and wonderful sense of humor taking the piss out of Warhammer and the lore and that's just my weird and wackiness so now that we have those colors blended in here the rest of it should fall along really fast and simple anyway okay so that's those ones all blended in together at the same time, so. We might have time for one more color, which would be the white blue. So we clean up our brush here. sure to take a minute okay so now we're just gonna get a normal GW dry brush okay So it's just normal, small GW dry brush. And we're gonna go height blue this time. Okay. So we're gonna stock up on it. There, like that. Just wipe it off. Work it into the bristles. Get our character here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep the brush at a nice angle here. Back and forward just like that. Just to lighten it up a little bit more okay sometimes you might have to go over the same spots again now 
Now white blue and Calgar blue are fairly close colours. Okay. Fairly close. But this is just helps you lighten it back up. And helps you fix in and blend in some of those colours just a little bit better, alright? Gives you that little bit more control. That's all. So you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You can just move on to the next step. comes to the back part of his legs turn your brush from flat to that okay and just come straight down just like that there So align your brush up to the halfway point and just come straight down. Okay. Now remember, his heels should not be darker or should not be lighter down the back of his calves, okay? You remember the light is coming down. Alright. Now this part here can be light. But the rest of this on the inside can't be. Okay? So you gotta think three dimensional with the light coming down at the same time. Alright.
stack that on. See? Just quick and easy, just like that. So as you can see, they're getting close. Okay, next step is Blue Horror, which will bring it up to this stage here. Okay, it may not look like it, but it will. this music it's really calm and relaxing feel free to link what uh, you guys listen to down below in the comments Getting there. Some people may be asking me, how come I didn't do the top of his helmet? But well, I'll show you why. Uh, because we'll just edge highlight that. We still want it to be clean as well, okay? Still want these models to be clean and looking nice, but uh, we also want to give the effect of the grim dark, which is the universe that it's in. So it's more lifelike. Because that's what the grim dark is. It's more life. Whereas painting them normally, uh, just it's more of a controlled environment. Whereas this, it's out of control.
Just quickly hit under there as well, just to make it a bit lighter. Make sure to hit those fingers, get them to pop out. That's that. Did we do the captain? No, we didn't. So this step really does help blend that color in, okay? Uh, but you don't have to. Just helps get those colors more blended, that's all. tea and a donut after this sit down and watch a bit of Netflix I might even go a little bit step further and get myself an apple pie Cup tea donut apple pie sounds like a plan I'll be watching this video uh, later on down in the future and I'm going to be like oh I fancy a cup of tea and an apple pie and a donut right now or right surprise for you is in the next few days uh, I managed to get lucky and find a very old Marinus Calgar in pewter as well so I got really really lucky I did um, So we're going to be stripping him and working away on him. But I might. Because uh, I have another two Marinus Calgar projects on the go as well. Two eBay restoration jobs I've been fixing over, over time. One of them is the uh, the newer one, and the other one is uh, another old pewter Marinus Calgar. 
but the uh, the newer one I use the base from his old one. time on this guy uh, to do his red helmet and we're gonna have to do it in the exact same way as we're doing the blue hair okay but I'm afraid that's all I have uh, time for tonight um, so this video is brought to you by uh, Cobalt Keep the uh, display miniature cases uh, they have amazing products. Uh, just let me bring out to the wide camera angle here. Uh, they have, uh, yeah, amazing products. Their bases are metal, so you can magnetize your characters on them, and they won't move around. Uh, you can fit up to very large models in here. As you can see, that's my 30k Reboot Gilliman, and that's a Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, so you can fit, fit a good few, um, fit a good few minis in here at the same time. Uh, they also do the Hero Box, which has ah look who it is marinus calgar forgot he was there um so that's a size reference for the uh for the hero box he's not uh, magnetized down as you can see there's the older stand that they have there but he's in the newer pose um so he's an ebay restoration job that i'm doing um obviously I bought the uh, bought the stand and I kept his other stand. Didn't like the tearing it apart. Uh, so um yes this video is brought to you by Colbo Keep so be sure to check out their link that I'll leave in the description and Massive shout out to them for supporting me and sending out this uh, amazing display case. I know where I'll be picking up all my display cases from now on. Uh, because it's like how many, just look how many models you can fit in here. And um, when I've only been going to deals and getting those small ones and I've been making my own, now I am happy enough to actually get a display case like this put a magnet on their stand and not worry if they'll slide around or whatnot uh, so a massive massive thank you to Colvo Keep and that's all that we have time for uh, people so feel um uh, feel free to drop in drop by next week uh, as always we'll be uh, going live every week anyway but the new uh, schedule will be happening shortly uh, we're changing the schedule up um, next week we'll be doing the starting off the animation but every Wednesday will be paint night for for sure and um, so we're thinking uh, Wednesday for painting, Friday for gaming, and I think I might do Monday for animating. Monday or Tuesday for animating, uh, slash digital work. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll be 
also recording videos uh, what I'm also doing some digital work and sticking them up on YouTube so not every day we won't be going live all the time so be sure to keep an eye on the YouTube channel where all the content will be and till then stay awesome people stay creative and have a lovely day bye bye